everyone, and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Abby from AWS, and I'm here with John from Betterment. John, thanks so much for joining me. Great to be here, Abby. So before we jump into the architecture, can you tell me a little bit about what Betterment does? Sure. Uh, so Betterment is the largest independent online investment advisor. Um, we're constantly working for our clients to maximize their returns as well as decrease their taxes, um, all while helping them meet their financial goals and investing them very efficiently. So you're working with investments, you're working with money. Um, I feel like you guys must have a, just a ton of data. We do. Um, so we've been doubling our size year over year for many years now. Um, so our data increases at that rate as well. So it's coming in very fast. So can you tell me a little bit about the architecture that, that you've built on AWS to, to process and work with that data? Yeah, we can. Um, so like I said, we're getting larger and larger every year. Um, we're running quite a few application instances at any given time. Uh, so these application instances are capturing all kinds of data right now. Um, but formerly, they weren't doing much with the data. It was just going to logs or something like that. Right. So what we want to do is create a system that allows us to ingest this data um, that meets a couple of goals. Uh, first of all, we wanted to be able to uh, make this data accessible for our analysts to look at and, sure. and do research on. Um, but secondly, we wanted to use it to meet a few of our compliance use cases that we had um, uh, with, our give it, with our various regulators and such. So supporting two use cases here. So the, the part where you guys get to do cool business logic and analysis on your data, and then the, the second use case, which I imagine has some pretty different requirements, where you need to store copies of the data for, for compliance. Yeah, exactly. Um, so like I said, we've got many different application instances, and they're all, all day they're firing information to a Kinesis stream. Um, on the other end of this Kinesis stream, we have a Lambda that is keeping an eye on this stream. Uh, and is actually processing the data in near real time, or, or at least as real time as we need it to be. Okay. Um, so what this Lambda is really doing is looking at the Kinesis stream and routing various types of events to uh, the next step, which is a, a series of firehose streams. So we can picture, I'm just going to draw an F for a firehose stream. Yep. We can picture quite a few of these. Uh, each one is dedicated to a, a type of event that we're working with. Okay. So this Lambda is routing the events to the firehose streams. Um, so now we've got them into, uh, you know, from Kinesis to Lambda into Kinesis Firehose. Uh, the next step along the way, which meets our analytics use case, is our Redshift Data Warehouse. So here's where you do all of your processing, your analytics, your BI tools might work off of here. But this is your, we get to do cool stuff with this data place. Exactly. Awesome. So, so this Redshift Data Warehouse was already existing, um, so we've just got a new place for it for all these various types of event data. Okay. So each of these Kinesis uh, Firehose streams are writing their data back to this, um, back to this Redshift cluster, and the, and the turnaround on the events is usually under a minute. So from when it happens, it usually shows up in Redshift in less than a minute. Okay, so a, fit, a pretty fast turnaround time also, considering the amount of data that's going through these fire hoses. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> um, so the last step along the way, which meets our compliance use case, is Amazon Glacier. Uh, so Glacier has a feature called Vault Lock, um, which allows it to be uh, a, a warm compliance store, which means write once, read many. Okay. Um, so we're unloading this data from Redshift into Glacier on a regular basis, um, and our regulators are very happy about that, that that data is in there and ready for them to look at. Awesome. So you, have the, you basically need one spot where all of your data goes where you, you can never write over it, you, which is our, our write once, read many. So you can, keep, you can keep looking at that data in Glacier, but you can only write the data once. Exactly, yeah. Um, so how do you deal with changes in like data taxonomy? So when you have a new event, when you have a new field, uh, how do you guys deal with that? Yeah, so the system is pretty resilient in that. Um, so our Lambda itself actually has um, uh, some bits to it that are able to identify a new type of event that's coming into the Kinesis stream and automatically provision a new fire hose in order to deal with that. Um, cool. So you can imagine if we, if we decided a new thing was coming in, we'll say we wanted to start recording application logins. Um, if this new event is coming in here, uh, the Lambda will actually check to see if there's a corresponding firehose stream, and if there's not one, uh, it will provision a new firehose to take on that stream. Um, the last step is, is to alert us that someone needs to go create a table in Redshift to, to accept this data, um, but that can be done. That doesn't have to be done immediately, and we're actually working to automate that step as well. Awesome. So definitely, uh, as, you, as you continue to, to ingest more and more data and, and do more and more analytics with it, uh, you want to keep automating so that you can, you can get rid of all the little pieces that, that used to be manual so the whole thing just kind of rocks along. Exactly, yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, this has been super interesting, John. Thanks so much for talking with me, uh, and thanks for watching. This is my architecture.